All righty, Steiny Guru. It's a crossover. Willard Dibbs in the house. What's going on, gentlemen? Really, uh, sincerely, a fun time last Stiney. night. Oh, my God. And I do want to say, Willard, Stiney. great job Stiney. of hosting. Stiney. Great job Stiney. of hosting. Willard was in his bag. Dibbs, I think. Of the six of us, you probably talk the least. Always. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. And, I, I mean, you could, like, put that out on, uh, you know, the three shows we do. Of the six of us, I talk the least, based on, like, 6A <laughs> to 6P as well. I kept slapping around oh, the leg. No, I but Shasky, that's it's fine. I, I would give Dibs a leg slap, yeah. and that was like, go, go. Right. And then, you know, here comes. That's a pro No, move. I know you're yeah. good. Well, yeah. right. you know what? it's tough. It's yeah. tough. Am I right? You know who else does that? And Bob Fitzgerald. He does? Yes. He slaps Coletta on the leg? Just No, he doesn't slap him. He has a closed fist, okay. and he just taps him a little. No. He's done it to me, where he goes, he, he, that's when you know he's going to leave it for you. It's, right. Because you were great. He's we were all great. To, he's trying it's, to throw a bass yes, pass. Exactly. Yeah. Mark, you went Shasky, Bonte, then it's Diaz, but Shasky grabs it back. <laughs> I'm like, no, let it come. I love my guy. It's Shasky Bonte. It is Shasky. Gra no, it's one, 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 one. In back to you. Well, we had a. I love uh, you, Butch. Yeah, we had a format oh, that uh, I'm sure everybody got emailed the format, no. and it included uh, follow a format. <laughs> but I mean, you're right. Yeah, you're no, you're not wrong. Not like yeah. it's, it's, Bonte, it's Shasky Bonte. Uh, yeah. Oh boy, I love uh, my guy. I mean, yeah, it's <laughs> it's fine. I don't get paid by the word. Yeah. And I said that to somebody uh, on the staff early on, and that's fine. I it's, pitched that up the uh, flagpole. Yeah. You actually I'm make thinking, more our money. Our show should be paid by the word. Well, yeah. then, then they you make no. More. Oh, yeah. boy. Sorry, Mark. I have But then you get no. paid more per word than anybody else. <laughs> right. It's a right. good point. Yeah. It's, it's a great point. As the longest tenured radio professional on this station, Look at and, you, know, you and I could like flash our LinkedIn's on each other, and it's close. But I, I, leave, I leave the flashing to you on this show. <laughs> and again, two. It, it, I mean, I I understand how bad it is when multiple people talk over each other, which is why I lay out. So in that setting where you've got people coming in hot over the top <laughs> and, you know, you, you pick your spot, Steiny, and when you get your turn, you burn the whole place down. And I get that. <laughs> And goo, you're passionate and you're everywhere. And but I'll wait till the ball uh, comes to me, though. Oh, just like there. <laughs> he said, "Goo, yeah." Like Shasky called I'm, me, and he was like, "I'm gonna run the four corners off his like." Yeah. Oh, you went Westbrook. Yeah, <laughs> what, are you, what are you gonna do? There's no, it's, 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 it's. I'd call it controlled chaos, but that's no, giving but it I'm way like, too much I'm love. It's not it, controlled. Yeah. What I realize is, yeah. is that I am Andrew Wiggins. I'm I'm gonna hey, wait we, on the weak side. And you know what? Oh I might I might give you I might give you nine and four, and I might actually you know exert my force on the proceedings, but oh, that's God. fine. I don't I don't need to be over there and like you know dominating the proceedings and all that. And so. that's why when Dibs has a great show, I go to the boss and I go, "That's the Dibs we wow. need every wow. day, wow. Yeah. not just wow. on Wednesdays." When you give Come me the ball, on. Iverson, exactly. Let's go. It's like playing with Allen Iverson. Where's for two the to consistency? Six. You know, he, he'll dribble, <laughs> dribble, dribble. There's three seconds left on the shot clock. <laughs> then he gives it to me, you and he shoot, and he man. goes to the mocha. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. He'll go to the water. He'll go to the caffeine. He'll go to the TV. You know, and then I, I gotta, I gotta jack something it's up real quick. What about the people, it's a buck? The yeah. fans. It's I saw all you guys I, I, sign autograph. That's what makes this special. It, well, the, the whole thing to me is still somewhat like a, I don't know if I want to call it out of body experience. It's close, but dibs like and all of us. We've been doing this now for a really long time, yeah. and it doesn't usually go like this. Wow. So, like, and I, I, I do hope those of you, and I know because you're all so faithful, those of you who show up to events like that are listening again right now. And I, I do hope that you know how unique you are mm. because Man. I've been to a lot of remotes, and it's just like there's one, it ain't like there's yesterday. one guy mm. who looks like he's been everywhere too long. Wow. And he's just like, oh, I, you know, like that's, and that's it. I mean, the fact that we've now been to three buildings and pack the hell out of those every time. Um, it It's, yeah, it's special. It's special. It's very, very, very cool. And I want to give a, a special shout out to, there were a number of you, I won't know every name or yeah. be able to repeat every conversation, 
But the ones that I love the most, it's one thing, hey, we listen to the shows and we we really love it or whatever. Um, when I hear from someone who says, uh, look, something out there is difficult for me right now, either my job, my life, my this, that, or the other is difficult, and I go to you guys and it and it helps it helps it go in an upward trajectory. Um, that is what is in my mind's eye every time we open up a mic. You know, we get crazy, we get wild, we argue, we have stupid opinions, whatever. I hope that all of it brings some sort of levity or emotion or smile or happiness uh, to uh, to people. Um, if it doesn't then I'm not sure if this is as cool as we think it is. So when people come up and say that, those are the ones that stick with me a little bit longer. That's beautiful. Well said. Yeah. That's Mark Willard. Yeah, I'm not following that. I mean, <laughs> wow. Good luck. And then this I guy's pulling take, the heartstrings. Take, take a slurp of yeah, my coffee. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Am I supposed to come out and rip somebody now? Yeah. Like, back, back to Wiggins. You know. ah, let, me, let me think who we could rip. Just off the top of my head. Uh, what's you know what? What's the point? How about the entire warrior let, let, organization for falling behind last well, night? Well, let's 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 talk about something that we should talk about. That game last night was unbelievable for a preseason game. It really, Jim's really just looking was. Like, who is this guy? It, well, no, I heard it earlier, oh. and uh, I was driving in, and I was thinking, man, I'm so glad to hear him say what he said because. I'm driving home from the after I okay. ghosted you. Yeah. And sorry, man. <laughs> Irish goodbye. <laughs> Shout out to you. I did say goodbye. Yeah, it did. wasn't quite Irish. Oh, it was more of a Scottish goodbye where, you know, I, I could have saddled up for one more, but I had a baby at home and I get in the car and I hear uh, Elevation Sensation and I'm, I love it. And, you know, Tom Tolbert on, on color commentary and I'm a big fan. And it's like I'm listening to the game and I'm, and I'm listening to the game and I'm like, this is a preseason game. And I'm listening to the game. <laughs> And I'm loving it, and it's back and forth, and it's, you know, the Kings this, and yeah. it's Sabonis that, and, you know, TJD, and, you know, unbelievable. And I'm like, this is awesome. And I get home, and the baby's not home, and she's over at Grandma's with Mommy, and I walk in the house, and I put the TV on, and I change the TV to Fitz and Kalena, and I'm watching preseason basketball, and I'm I'm locked in. Yeah. yeah. And I watch the whole first half, and then baby comes home, and I pause it, and, you know, we do the thing, and... Diaper change and Gaga pause. Goo Goo and yeah. the whole deal. And, you know, that she goes to bed and I'm like, I got to watch this. And I'm like, wait, I had to slap myself. I got to watch this. This is preseason basketball. And I was like, not locked in, locked in, but I was at least like half locked in yeah. to well, a preseason game. So the Warriors, uh, especially certain members of the team, are those types of human beings in this world. That True. You can't take your eyes off of, yeah. right? They're, yeah. they're that kind of celebrity. Yeah. But this is Charge. interesting because I, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad we brought this up. Um, and there'll be a lot of this on our show today. And I'm willing to be the, the outlier here. And I want to make sure it doesn't sound like something that's inauthentic um, because I am over the moon excited about this season and I can't wait for Tuesday night. Man. I, I found out about this buzzer beater hours after it happened. Oh, you so you weren't I, live. I, I did not watch this game. Mm. I, w <laughs> when I saw the highlight, That's I went... That's a fireball offense. I, I, no, I... I, <laughs> Just I right, I watched the highlight yeah. and I went, cool. <laughs> and, and, and then I moved on with my day. I had emails to send and... No, you weren't I, I yeah. w Like, and I... This is nothing to pull away from anybody who was inspired because I've heard all the reports that the building was lit up and, and loud, and obviously the players cared on some sort of level, and I can completely understand the whole, like, hey, this team needs chemistry, so the more time together, the better. That's all yeah. great. Yeah. I woke up thinking about Brock Purdy and Kirk Cousins. I did. Wow. I woke up thinking about them, and, and all I'm hearing all day <laughs> Is there was like this game, this game, and I'm like, you all, they're both 0 and 0. Like this, this, this did not count. And I wanted the, I saw D'Lo and KC on Twitter last night, and they're they like, hurt. they're like, don't lie, that hurt. And I'm like, <laughs> let the, let the adorable ones yeah. care about this. They did. Come on, really? Like, cool. This yeah. one hurt is what oh, they man. said. The standpoint of, like, Steph hit a three. It's cool. It's rivalry now, dude. But, Dagger. like, really? Is the hair on the back of our neck up? 
preseason but basketball. Real quick before you go, Stani, yeah. and I told Stani this on the show, you started it when you said breaking news. It's a dress rehearsal yeah. with the starting five. Wow. And when I saw that ball go in, <laughs> my man comes in here on fire. Since 1985, you said that was the best. Yeah, when I saw game. Bird in person at an ex- in an exhibition game. Wow. Listen, I, I don't know why. Like I just started watching the game. I watched the whole game. And it was just a game for a while. In order for it to become something like it became, just a bunch of different factors have to play into it. The Kings being the team was certainly one of the factors. Yes. You think, right? Absolutely. That's what everyone, now Lucas, yeah. Lucas say, in the other room was like, if it was the Hawks, it would have been the same for Steph. No, 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 no. Yeah. I think, think, I think it, the, the Kings were a part of it. What yeah. percentage, we could argue. Okay. But there was also, they're down 10 or foot. He puts Curry back in with 7.45 to go. And it's an exhibition game, or it's a preseason game. Once you do that, well, it's clear he said, let's get back into this game at CVA. Yes. Because then we can see if you can play with Chris and the land. Da, da, da. Right, but this, don't just, you think that's what he's thinking? He's like, let's practice some scenarios. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. I think, yes, right, I think he right. puts Curry back in at 745. Yeah. They're down 12. And he says to Steph something like, let's try to get back in this game so that the last three or four minutes we can do whatever we want, like tinker, or maybe it's going to be the lineup we use, maybe it'll be another lineup. And they got back into it. And then he put Chris Paul in with 430. I think he brought took Moody off at some point. He took brought Sarge in. So I do think it it ended up being somewhat of what like it may look during the regular season, minutes wise and finishing lineup wise. We're it, what's not gonna be the last no, time I, we see that. I'm yeah. a, I'm aware that I I may I may have missed something. Because mm-hmm. Grandy, that was his first response to me this morning. He goes, You'd feel different if you watched it live. Yeah. And I didn't, and I watched it on Memorex, and and mm. I'm like, cool. They're both on one. Cool. Arm. The Warriors, uh, yeah. yeah. The Warriors, like Steph hit a three. I I knew he could do that. I had a feeling, you know. I'm like, <laughs> but everybody woke up like inspired, and I'm like, <laughs> the show. did I admit yeah. it? it was tonight opening night, and I didn't know. I do think that it 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 was the Kings, and it was the idea of a dress rehearsal, but also it was a Wednesday night where there was nothing else really yeah, going yeah. on. And yep. maybe it's because we were all fresh off the summit and we had 300 people in the building yeah. and we all were loving it and the whole deal. And so all that and more led to the fact that we all were more geeked up no about a game about and Mark, you know, hyped us up with the starting lineup he that we all heard. That. And then, <laughs> you know, when you start to look at the game and you watch them play and they all were playing like it mattered. They didn't play yeah, like it, yeah, it yeah. was not a summer league vibe. It was not a, you know, I'm just out here trying to break a sweat and then I'm going to sit down. They were playing like it mattered to them. And so it mattered to us watching it because it mattered to them. You're listening to 95.7 The Game, KGMZ FM and HD1 San Francisco. Always live on the free Odyssey app, Twitch and YouTube, powered by First NorCal Credit Union. I'll tell you this. I, I get oh, the, go ahead. Real quick, I yeah, just, I get the, time. I totally get the, dude, it was an exhibition game and, or preseason game. And that, that, like, that's kind of my point is I've seen preseason games. I, I it's not a preseason game I can remember. And all I'm saying is last night, you know, once again, like, just, I don't know. Chris Paul's a big part of this, too. I think there's, well, there's a big intrigue. Big, big curiosity. Yes, yes. Huge curiosity. Absolutely. And that was fed. That got fed last night, too. Because Curry and, and and Curry and Chris Paul did some things late that were pretty good. Goo, before you jump in, yeah. I like I do want to almost just set the table though for all, all everybody listening right now that we would truly I would love to hear. And, and, you know, 888-957-9570 or whether it's Twitch, YouTube chats, text line, whatever, um, where your head is at right now. Because I also, we try to be mindful of not making these shows necessarily about what's going on in our world, yeah. but what's going on out there in, in your world. So in other words, we're the home of the Warriors. We all just drove home from a Warrior Summit. Yep. And, and and so we are knee deep in all of this stuff that's going on. Right. What'd you call it? Uh, knee deep. The echo chamber. The echo chamber. Yeah, thank like you. Like we are in well, a Golden State Warriors state echo, of mind. Yeah. echo chamber. Yeah, yeah. and thank so I, I think a lot of fans are, but at the same time I'm like, is that is this an us thing that, that this game hit so much? 
and and the majority of the Bay Area sports fans actually out there are like, yo, the Niners are five and one and coming off of a loss. So that's kind of where your head is at. Or are you at least transitioning right now into some sort of warrior state of mind? Because also, let's be honest, the 49ers are sort of like, at least for the moment, people are struggling to find any concerns. And there's not a so game until like, Monday, Mark. Yeah, so that, there's, there's a lot not a to Warrior do with game until Tuesday. You're right. But there was one yesterday, <laughs> even though it was preseason. <laughs> yeah. We partook. I, I'm going to say this and see if you guys agree. I've been waiting because I was born and raised out here for SAC, Ramento, and the Golden State Warriors to be good at the same time. Mm. I think we're staring that in the face. I think SAC was proud of what they did. The game seven, Steph going for 50. Mark, you cannot tell me there's, this is not a rivalry. And I know you're like, well, goo, both teams got to win before that happens. But last night, I'm going to Rob Lowe. That had a lot to do with it. It was the fact that it was the Kings. I think there's some not bad blood with De'Aaron Fox in the step. Like, they were going at each other, and I think that's healthy, and, and both are going to be – they are good, and I think that had a lot to do with why they played the you, way they played. You're yesterday. probably right. I don't know if I would use the word rivalry because we're, we're getting to a spot where we throw that around, and with the Warriors and to a degree the 49ers, that moves – on, a, on an annual basis, is it the Seahawks? Is it the Cowboys? Now it's the Eagles. Well, I was real quick. I'll put I'm it interrupt. this way. It's a thing, though. Okay. The Warriors yeah, and Kings. they don't Kings, like each other. Well, yeah, the Warriors and Kings is a thing. It's okay. a big brother, little but brother thing. But the Seahawks and the whoever after are all that, exactly. that was out of the jurisdiction. I'm going old school Raiders and Niners. That was natural. Uh, Giants, A's. That was natural. This is natural. This is territory. This is, okay, we go down to 80, we'll be there in an hour. And we saw that manifest into seven great games yeah. last year. I think so it's I think more it's than natural. just natural. I think it's more than natural. I think it's personal Oop. because you had wow. uh, Draymond Green stomped on wow. Sabonis. I, yep. I mean, yep. even though it, hey, it was an accident, where am I supposed to put that my foot? Great. You stomped on the man. And De'Aaron Fox is coming for Steph Curry's crown as best he point guard. Good, he's good, but he's not Steph. Okay. And Steph knows that somebody's coming for him, so Steph's trying to keep everyone <laughs> at bay. And the fact that they went seven games and Steph needed a, is it 50 burger? Yes. Did we decide? 40 uh, burger, piece, yes. 40 piece. 40 piece, and 50 I feel like burger. You, you are the one who coined the I know, piece. but I get confused. No, the burger is 50. The burger is bigger than the piece. Uh, so a burger is more he special than a piece. gave them a 50 burger to knock them out, so... It's personal. Yeah. It's personal for them. And Mike Brown still but, there. Yes, yeah. and honestly, based on the way they played last night, it's personal for the Warriors. And we have it exactly. on in the studio right now, and they're down 16 with 13 and a half minutes <laughs> to go. Right. And yet they got off the deck, and they got off the deck because it matters to them. Well, that and you know what? If, and that's, Dibs, if you really boil it down, there were many factors why I think, and I think that game was special last night, the, the number one thing that started it was if you were watching the game, Mark, with about eight minutes to go, it became clear as day that the, every player cared about the game. There was just, I, you could feel it. Well, they right. both teams wanted to win. It wasn't about getting guys' minutes, it wasn't about yeah, preseason. Was, exactly. It was something happened where. It was important. It was uh, it was well way more important than a regular old game. I read a quote. Exhibition. Yeah, I read a quote from uh, De'Aaron Fox that I think is actually the the reason for why this feels so different. Because for each uh, team, it is it's different. It's a thing, but the reason for it is different. So listen to what uh, Fox says because someone joked with him and said, "Are you sick of playing the Warriors?" Because right now with the playoffs. The preseason, they're on the schedule next week. Yeah. It's like Kings Warriors constantly. And he's sort of tongue-in-cheek, was like, yeah, I was telling Steve Kerr before the game, like we played you 11 times last year, twice in the preseason, second game of the year, fourth game of the year. I'm like, come on, man, we are sick of seeing them. But then he goes into this, quote, it's a battle. We have respect for them, and obviously we hope they have respect wow. for us. Wow. That, to me, explains the mm -hmm. whole thing. The Kings, this is a thing because the Warriors to them, as you just called them, Stiney, it's Big Brother, and therefore they don't get any local or even national sort of attention they would like. You hear it all the time. How many national games did we get? How many national games did we get? Not on Christmas. It's like, no, we didn't get a Christmas. How do we not get a Christmas? They want 
respect. They would like some attention. They would like some acknowledgement. The way to do that is to beat the Warriors or get the Warriors' attention. And also the way they've played these games, as you point out, Dibs, the Sabonis stuff and whatnot has Mm. gotten the Warriors' attention because it's like the gnat that won't get the hell out of your face. And so I think that's the dynamic that doesn't matter if the game is a preseason game, a regular season game, or everybody out in the playground. And it's a dress rehearsal, according to Steve Kerr on our show Uh and everywhere he said, and do you want to have a dress rehearsal involve you losing to the Kings by 25 at home? And we're watching right now, and they're down 13, late fourth, and Chris Paul just hit a stanky leg three over uh, over De'Aaron Fox. Yeah, and so... You know, if you're the Warriors, you don't want your dress rehearsal to be a loss to Sacramento before you play them next Friday. Well, I, I, I'm gonna, I'll, go back, I'll go back to my comment about not being able to take your eyes off it because to let the listeners in, the way our, our room is structured right now, uh, the TV that has the Warrior game on is behind my head. Yeah. And, and I'm looking at the thing. three of you who've already seen this game, <laughs> yeah. and none of you are looking at me. You're looking at the game. Over my right shoulder. I feel like I'm on a date with all of you right now. It's, order, it's a commercial right now, the, so I got eyes on you. Order some Pino and a chicken <laughs> cacciatore and uh, feel for all the ladies in the world who have had dates where somebody's looking over their shoulder at the TV the entire it's time. It's funny you're saying yeah. this because when uh, my mom was in her final days, Sue Dibley, oh, rest in peace, right. we're in the waiting room and hospice <laughs> comes in. It was Christmas Day. And it was about six years ago, and the Cavaliers and Warriors are playing, and my sister and I are talking to hospice with my then-wife, Chanda, and, you know, hospice is, you know, the end days for your mom. It's going to be this and that, and I'm watching the TV, (laughs) and hospice is looking at my sister, and then hospice looks at me, and I I go back to hospice, and Gail's looking at the TV, and I look over at my ex-wife, and she's shaking her head like, you, you (laughs) a-holes. Your mom has... (laughs) And my mom literally had one day left to live. Oh, no. And so we were in that meeting that, you, you know, none of us ever want to have. No, no. And some of us have have it, have had it and whatever. And But it reminds me of what you're talking about. Because, yeah, yeah. when you look at Steiny and you're making your point, my eyes are up <laughs> in a game. I've already watched, Mark. I've already seen it. They're down 13. Yeah. So well, it They're down well. 13. A, it doesn't count. B, no. you now know the outcome. But, and you guys yeah. still can't pull your eyes off of I it. I need to relive it, Mark. They're down 13. How did they win this game? It was a must win, Mark. I think they scored more points than the other I think, another, I think another aspect of this is if you're a Warrior fan, you know we're getting close to a transition. And Chris Paul has put a... a it's been a wild card into this mix, and everybody's trying to figure it out. And I think, I think last night, you can now look at the not, and I, I said it before the game, so I was thinking, man, did I overdo it? But I, I think if you're a Warrior fan, you can watch, look at this game and say, huh, huh, maybe, maybe. You think it looked like that? Yes, I do. Okay, good. I really do. I mean, or at least, still, you had no they, Draymond, you had no Looney. Well, so it, it's it, not like you, you know what I mean? It's not like a full strength no, squad. But they, they, they cared for some reason. Yeah. So there it is. All right, gentlemen, listen, I got to hit it. Oh, gee. But, we'll be, uh, you got another haircut? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, what do I have today? Maybe a little pickleball. Later. Oh, you don't you, play pickleball. Have you picked up pickleball? Absolutely. Good for you. With whom do you play? Susan. And the, my, it's the one activity my daughter, who's 17, will do with me, you know, 15 minutes every month. Where are you playing? Up in uh, Montclair. That's a fun court. Yeah, you can re- reserve it. Open yeah. play, yeah. No, I, I did a segment on pickleball. Uh, no, I heard no, everything. Uh, I heard you guys talking about ska today. That was yeah. wildly entertaining. <laughs> Both of you were like, I have no idea what that is. Yeah. I'm like, I'm talking to my radio. Yeah. I'm like, come on. It's a little, like, a little bit of a reggae rock type of a the thing. Woman, History. No Steiny, yeah. just one bit of advice from me to you. Stay out of the kitchen. Thank you. It's a pickleball term. Oh, wow. He doesn't he play flew right he over the He not play pickleball. He flew right over mine, too. I could not explain the scoring, but it would take 15 minutes. <laughs> One, two, two. Another show tomorrow.